can wash my hands. <laughs> what? You always give me shit for that. It's like, what do you want me to do? Like, not wash my hands? I thought you weren't done seasoning. No, I was done seasoning. I seasoned both sides. What do you want me to do? <laughs> you need to get seasoned. <laughs> Hey guys, we are making a stew today uh, from, I think it was, God, maybe over a year ago from the February 2018 Healthiest Issue. This is one of my favorite uh, packages that we worked on. It was a Healthiest Stew story, and this one is called a Chicken Tomato Stew. I think that's the thing. Chicken Tomato Stew with Caramelized Lemon. I am starting with four chicken legs, and this is the thigh and drumstick attached, skin on, bone in. There's not a lot of ingredients, which is why I, I'm going to push you guys to use chicken with the skin and the bone in to give the stew a lot of body, a lot of flavor, and uh, let's go from there. These chicken legs have been patted dry. I'm just going to season them pretty generously. I press down so the salt can actually adhere to the, the skin. Shift them over. and. Ideally, if you could season the chicken earlier, that'd be great. An hour, a day ahead, that's even better. We have a Dutch oven. This is like, if you have a larger one, that'd be ideal. We might have to wor work these in batches uh, to brown the chicken. I'm using two tablespoons of olive oil. You don't need much because the chicken's gonna render out a good amount of fat from the skin. We're gonna turn this medium high, get that hot. I would push you guys to at least try to cook the dishes because you'll be satisfied in many ways, you know? Chris was like mocking your uh, video stand. Whoa, 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 whoa! Wait, when, where? Easy. I could have been doing it the whole time. Now it's dark to be up. What is my stand? Is it. No, it's like right. power poses, like Andy by the stove. Andy at the counter. Well, what should I do? Andy talk to the like... camera. <laughs> okay. You don't want to move the chicken around too much. We're just going to let it sit, sit inside down, get a really nice brown. Maybe turn the pot around, but don't turn the chicken legs around. Otherwise, we're not going to brown properly. Then I'll take a peek. You have this pretty golden. I'm going to go a little bit further. All right. We're going to cut some onions up. I got one large yellow onion. Just trim the hairs. I know what you're thinking, man. It's kind of a shitty onion. It's been so long since I had you ragging on the produce in the test kitchen. It's pretty bad, though. I'll use it. It's a, not bad, it's a mediocre onion. I like to do this. I go at a 45 degree angle where the base is, just to kind of cut the root end off. And then you're gonna start just slicing. This is what you say bed. So, when I was developing this dish, I wanted to do some kind of like chicken tomato-y stew. I wanted to keep it fairly simple and keep this dish really filled with a lot of pantry ingredients with maybe a spice or two. So you'll see just like, you'll, we're using onions, garlic, uh, canned tomatoes, tomato paste, and then uh, we'll see what the secret ingredient is in a bit. I have six garlic cloves. Uh, in the recipe, I say to have them just for a little work. <clears throat> I feel like slicing them because you don't always have to follow a recipe to a T. Do you ever feel like looking directly into the camera lens is like looking directly into someone's empty soul? Oh, I was thinking empty soul, yeah. I wasn't, yeah. That's ex wow, you know me so well <laughs> at this point. Now that this is prepped, let's check on the chicken. We have the two chicken legs brown, and we have these that are still going. Just to give you an idea, like, it's a good pull of fat that is rendered. You want that, it's gonna add a lot of flavor. And it's also gonna bring a lot of balance to it, because you have a lot of uh, acidity from the tomatoes. Ooh. That's nice. Okay, I'm gonna add the onion. So we're gonna cook these onions down until they're really soft. The onions are also picking up all the kind of good brown bits that the chicken left. 
We don't need to add any additional oil because we have that olive oil in the pan and the chicken fat that is rendered. If you have anything that's sticking, just kind of scrape it up. Okay, so the onions have softened up. They're gonna keep cooking, but I'm gonna add the garlic now. And we're gonna keep cooking this down until the onions are really soft and the garlic is soft as well. Okay, so the garlic is brown, the onions are brown. I'm gonna add two tablespoons honey, a tablespoon tomato paste, three quarters teaspoon ground turmeric, and half a teaspoon cinnamon. You don't need much of uh, the spices here. I'm gonna let this go for about two minutes just to kind of bloom the spices, kind of waken them up, and also to kind of cook out the tomato paste. Whole peeled tomatoes. I don't crush them or anything. You can ahead of time. I just kind of add them to the pot. And I'm gonna just nestle in the chicken here. Skin set up. juices that may have gathered. Okay, I'm gonna add three cups of stock. This is some cloudy ass stock that was not made in the test kitchen. We didn't have any. I'm just gonna give the bottom a bit of a stir. I'm gonna turn it down to very low. I'm gonna mostly cover it with a lid just so I'm gonna leave some space so it can reduce can thicken. Um, I'm gonna turn this or the chicken around every so often, maybe every 20 minutes or so. This is gonna go for about uh, a little over an hour. We're gonna check after the 60 minute mark. It may need a little bit more time. What you're looking for is the chicken to be almost shreddy. I like that. Um, if you want to cook it less and so that it retains its shape, that's fine too. It'll still be cooked through. And for the sauce to be thickened, and we'll go from there. Uh, first, I am just taking one lemon, going to cut the ends off like this. And then I'm going to just place the lemon uh, upright and then cut it into quarters. And then look at that. Best, best partner in the biz, a chocolate chip cookie. I'm going to save that for later. We're going to take each lemon and just cut crosswise into thin strips and then we're gonna throw this in a medium skillet and then we're gonna cover this with water you don't need much just to kind of cover it up Can you juggle Andy depends on what you want me to juggle uh lemons oh no men yes what was your favorite Favorite movie in middle school? Shit. Oof. It was like gangster films and then like coming of age Leonardo DiCaprio films. Andy's got a type. I have a type, unfortunately. She got tattoos. Uh, oh, by the way, we're pulling the lemons out. You'll see how they're kind of almost translucent a bit. We're just gonna kind of flip these over and pat them dry a bit. Put back on the heat. Pour two tablespoons of olive oil. I'm gonna add the lemon back into the bowl. I'm gonna sprinkle this with one and a half teaspoons of sugar. I'm just give this a toss. This is not gonna make the lemon sweet. This is just kind of combating any of the leftover bitterness. We'll take that over. So what we're doing is making a topping for the stew. This is going to be a caramelized lemon that's going to be like a crunchy, lemony topping that's going to go, um, that's going to garnish the stew. I'm kind of just shaking these lemons a bit. I'm just getting them a little bit of color. So I'm going to just sprinkle these with a little bit of salt. A little bit of a toss. The chicken is, I kind of test by taking the drumstick and then pushing it down. If the chicken's like about to fall off, which it's about to fall off, then we're good to go. Again, this chicken is not like perfectly retained chicken legs. These are supposed to be like falling off the bone, and I mean, they're, they're actually falling off the bone, so I'm gonna have to use a slotted spoon. But I love this, like, this is the kind of meal I want. 
I'm gonna just give this a rough chop. I wanna see the best eyes here. Best eyes? Yeah, the oh. chop, chopping eyes. That's all, it's only like a rough, I don't need much. It just, <laughs> I'm gonna throw this mint on top. Lemon. Finish with a bit of sesame seeds. Okay, I'm gonna make myself a little serving. Hold on. Okay, we're good. I'm gonna Hold take. On. I'm just kidding. All right, I'm gonna take one leg. Now this is a really saucy, mm, stewy dish. You could serve it on its own. I like to pair it with a little bit of flatbread. Oh. <laughs> It's really delicious, I'm just gonna say that. Because you're using the bone and the skin, it has a great like chicken forward flavor, like it's very chickeny, the dish. You get that good acidity from the tomatoes, and you get the warm spice, just that little bit amount of turmeric and cinnamon comes through. I'm gonna finish this up. I hope you guys enjoy it, and I hope you guys make it. Thanks. Oh my God, Andy, are you gonna eat the cookie? On camera? I want people to think that I don't eat sugar. It's pretty damn good. Chris Morocco, man. Nailed it every time.